Betelgeuse is a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter, enormous, very unstable, and about to explode. These stars are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe, generating more energy than a billion suns. Betelgeuse is a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter, enormous, very unstable, and about to explode. When we think of stars, we probably imagine tiny shiny items in the night sky, at least, this is how we see them from down here on the planet. But stars are something else entirely. In fact, one of the biggest stars, Betelgeuse, happens to be much larger than our sun. For years, this star has baffled scientists, but recently, something more unsettling has been happening with Betelgeuse, making scientists and other well-informed folks very, very concerned. Join us in this video as we explore the terrific news about Betelgeuse, its impending destruction as expected by the James Webb Space Telescope, and how this new development will affect our galaxy and our lives right here on the planet. As explained by physicist Michio Kaku, Betelgeuse is a cosmic wonder, a large star that has intrigued cosmologists for so long. A Greek astronomer named Tony was the first to discover it. This star is so huge that it can be seen in the night sky from Earth, particularly during winter. If you're into constellations, you've probably seen or heard of this star. It is the reddish-orange star that marks the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. So you see, this star is ancient and so far one of the brightest stars in the night sky. But one thing about Betelgeuse's brightness is that it doesn't stay constant, instead, it fluctuates. This fluctuation is one of the unique properties of the star, but it isn't the only one. Let's look at some of Betelgeuse's specific properties. Most of the stars you see in the night sky are actually far from Earth. The nearest star is 4.2 light years away from Earth. If you don't understand how the term light years explains distance, picture it this way, consider moving at the speed of light for a whole year. It's been proven that light can cover a distance of 186,000 miles per second, therefore, the distance light can cover in a year is equal to one light year. If you do the math, you'll have billions of miles. So when we say the closest star is 4.2 light years away, it means it is billions of miles away from Earth. But guess what? Some stars are even farther, and Betelgeuse is one of them. Betelgeuse is located approximately 600 light years away from Earth, so if you were to travel to it at the speed of light, it would still take 600 years. We can't move that fast, not even our fastest spacecraft can. But this star can still shine so brightly in our sky. If you're wondering how Betelgeuse can be so bright despite its distance, that's because of its other qualities, like size and brightness. Betelgeuse is about 500 times larger than our sun. Its radius is believed to be about 1,000 times that of the sun. It's so big that it appears as a disk in space when using sophisticated telescopes, while other stars appear as little points of light. This appearance is suspected to be an effect of the reactions at the outer layers of its atmosphere. In terms of mass, Betelgeuse measures about 12 to 19 solar masses. A solar mass is the standard unit of mass used by astronomers. One solar mass is equal to 2 times 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. Scientists cannot determine the exact mass of Betelgeuse because there are no other planetary bodies orbiting around it to compare with, and of course, we can't measure it directly from here on the planet. But it's proven that this star is at least 12 times heavier than our sun. The brightness of Betelgeuse ranges from magnitude plus 0 to plus 1.6. In more familiar terms, Betelgeuse is 16,000 times brighter than our sun. No wonder it was nicknamed a red giant. However, the brightness of Betelgeuse doesn't stay constant, it fluctuates. This fluctuation is due to its pulsations. In other words, Betelgeuse expands and contracts. When it expands, it gets brighter, but when it contracts, it dims. This process can last for 10 to 100 days or even more. One unique property of Betelgeuse is that its surface is covered in dark magnetic spots. The magnetic field in these regions is far stronger than at the normal surface, but the downside is that these strong magnetic spots inhibit the flow of hot gas to the star's outer surface, making the star cooler in these regions. The fact that Betelgeuse has lots of these spots compared to our sun explains why it is cooler than our sun despite its size and brightness. The sun also has its own dark magnetic spots, but those on Betelgeuse are much larger and very numerous. To give you an idea, the spots on Betelgeuse can be twice as large as Earth. Betelgeuse also boasts a magnetic field that is a thousand times stronger than that of the Sun. This field is why, when viewed through a telescope, the gases on the surface of Betelgeuse appear to be in loops or arcs. Betelgeuse has a surface temperature of about 3,500 Kelvin. This low temperature contributes to the low energy emitted by the star and its dim red color. Betelgeuse is a red star, but it wasn't always red. 
It was yellowish about 2 million years ago, just like our sun. Over the years, the color started changing to orange-red, and then about 2,000 years ago, it slowly started becoming the red star we know today. This fact has made scientists believe that the star is aging. Betelgeuse emits as much as 7,500 times more energy than the sun. It would have been a fierce rival to Earth's sun if it weren't so far away in its prime. The fact that Betelgeuse, which is 600 light-years away, can still be seen and identified with the naked eye at night is quite remarkable. Our sun is only 8.3 light minutes away from Earth, that's why it's so powerful. If Betelgeuse were just slightly closer, we would also be able to see it during the daytime. But if it were to replace the sun, it would swallow up or displace the Earth and the other four planets near it because of its enormous size. Furthermore, even if it could match it, it emits more radiation than our sun Betelgeuse, also known as Betelgeuse, is a supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, approximately 600 light-years away from Earth. Its immense size is one of its most striking features, it is about 500 times larger than our Sun in terms of radius and could easily encompass the orbit of Jupiter if placed at the center of our solar system. This colossal size allows Betelgeuse to appear as a distinct disk rather than a point of light when observed through powerful telescopes, unlike most other stars. Despite its enormous size, Betelgeuse is not the most massive star. It ranges in mass from about 12 to 19 times that of the Sun. This variability in mass estimation is due to the challenges in accurately measuring the mass of stars that lack a companion star or other objects to provide gravitational reference points. Nevertheless, even at its lower estimated mass, Betelgeuse remains a significant stellar entity. The brightness of Betelgeuse is another noteworthy characteristic. It varies regularly over time, with its brightness ranging from magnitude 0 to plus 1.6. For comparison, a magnitude zero star is about 2.5 times brighter than a magnitude plus one star. At its brightest, Betelgeuse can be 16,000 times brighter than our sun. This variability is attributed to its pulsations, periodic expansions and contractions caused by internal processes within the star. When Betelgeuse expands, it becomes brighter, when it contracts, it dims. These pulsations can last for days to months, contributing to its dynamic appearance in the night sky. Betelgeuse's surface temperature is relatively low for such a large star, measuring around 3,500 Kelvin. This gives it a distinct reddish-orange hue, characteristic of red giant stars nearing the end of their life cycle. Like other red giants, Betelgeuse is in the late stages of stellar evolution. It has exhausted the hydrogen fuel in its core and begun fusing heavier elements. This fusion process generates energy and causes the star to expand outward. The star's atmosphere is rich in complex physical phenomena. It exhibits dark magnetic spots on its surface, which are significantly larger and more numerous than those found on our Sun. These spots are regions of intense magnetic activity that inhibit the flow of hot gases from deeper within the star to its surface, contributing to cooler spots on the star's surface. Betelgeuse's history and cultural significance also make it a prominent celestial object. Known since ancient times, Betelgeuse has been observed and documented by various civilizations throughout history. Its visibility in the night sky, particularly during winter in the Northern Hemisphere, has made it a prominent feature in constellations and mythology. In recent years, Betelgeuse has garnered increased scientific attention due to its dimming episodes, which began around late 2019 and continued into early 2021. During these periods, the star's brightness dropped to unprecedented levels, sparking speculation among astronomers about its imminent fate. Betelgeuse, also known by its formal name Betelgeuse, is a prominent star in the constellation Orion, located approximately 600 light-years away from Earth. It stands out not only because of its brightness but also due to its massive size and the unique characteristics that make it a fascinating object of study in the field of astronomy. To understand the significance of Betelgeuse, one must first grasp its immense scale. With a radius roughly 500 times that of our Sun, Betelgeuse is an extraordinary giant among stars. Its sheer size would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter if it were placed at the center of our solar system, engulfing not only the inner planets but also vast expanses of space beyond them. The star's physical dimensions contribute to its distinctive appearance in the night sky. While most stars appear as tiny points of light, Betelgeuse can be resolved as a disk when viewed through powerful telescopes, making it one of the few stars outside our solar system that can be observed in such detail. Betelgeuse's mass is estimated to be between 12 and 19 times that of the Sun. This estimation varies due to the challenges in precisely determining the mass of such a distant object. Unlike binary star systems, where mass can be inferred from the gravitational interaction between two stars, Betelgeuse lacks a nearby companion that would allow for such direct measurement. 
Therefore, astronomers rely on indirect methods, such as analyzing the star's brightness, size, and distance, to estimate its mass. Despite the uncertainties, the consensus is that Betelgeuse is a massive star, even if it is not the most massive among known stars. One of the most intriguing aspects of Betelgeuse is its variability in brightness. The star is classified as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness fluctuates over time. These fluctuations are caused by pulsations within the star, which result from complex processes in its interior. As Betelgeuse expands and contracts, its brightness changes, with periods of increased luminosity followed by dimming. This variability has been observed for centuries, but it became particularly notable during the Great Dimming event of 2019-2020 when Betelgeuse's brightness dropped to levels never before recorded. The event sparked widespread speculation about the star's future, with some suggesting that it might be on the verge of a supernova explosion. The surface of Betelgeuse is characterized by intense magnetic activity, leading to the formation of large dark spots, known as star spots. These spots are significantly larger than those on our Sun and can cover a substantial portion of Betelgeuse's surface. The magnetic field that creates these spots is also much stronger than that of the Sun, influencing the star's atmosphere and contributing to its irregular pulsations. The temperature of Betelgeuse's surface is relatively cool compared to other stars, measuring around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature, combined with the star's immense size and advanced age, gives Betelgeuse its characteristic reddish-orange color. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is in the late stages of its stellar life cycle. It has exhausted the hydrogen fuel in its core and has moved on to fusing heavier elements. This process leads to the production of enormous amounts of energy and causes the star to expand to its current size. Betelgeuse's cultural significance cannot be understated. It has been a prominent feature of the night sky for millennia, recognized by ancient civilizations and incorporated into various mythologies. Its position as the shoulder of Orion in the famous constellation has made it one of the most easily recognizable stars, especially in the winter sky of the northern hemisphere. The recent dimming of Betelgeuse and the subsequent scientific investigations have brought renewed attention to this celestial giant, highlighting the dynamic nature of stars and the ongoing processes that shape their evolution. In summary, Betelgeuse is a remarkable star that captivates both astronomers and the general public alike. Its enormous size, fluctuating brightness, and advanced stage of stellar evolution make it a subject of intense study and fascination. As one of the most prominent stars in the night sky, Betelgeuse continues to be a key object in our understanding of the life cycles of stars and the ultimate fate of massive celestial bodies. The first solid physical evidence that Betelgeuse is about to explode is what scientists refer to as the Great Dimming of Betelgeuse. The star started to dim in late 2019, and by February 2020, its brightness had decreased by almost 35%. Since this wasn't the first time the star had dimmed, astronomers brushed it off, thinking it was just another pulsation. However, after more than a year of fluctuations in brightness, the situation became more critical. Scientists began running simulations and considering various explanations, but a paper published in the Astrophysical Journal on June 1, 2021, pointed out that Betelgeuse's core might be in the process of collapsing. The brightening and dimming of the star are signs that it is running out of fuel and that a supernova explosion could be imminent. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to capture the last moments of Betelgeuse before it goes supernova, providing valuable data about the final stages of massive stars' lives. If Betelgeuse does explode, it would be a spectacular event visible from Earth, possibly even during the daytime. However, because it is 600 light-years away, the explosion would pose no threat to Earth. Instead, it would provide a rare opportunity to study a supernova in real time, offering insights into the mechanisms that drive these cataclysmic events and the impact they have on their surrounding environments. As Betelgeuse approaches the end of its life, its impending explosion is not just an astronomical event but a significant scientific milestone. The data collected from this event will help refine our models of stellar evolution, particularly for massive stars, and improve our understanding of the processes that lead to supernovae. Additionally, the light from the supernova will likely reach Earth long after the star has exploded, giving us a glimpse into the distant past of our universe. In the meantime, scientists and astronomers around the world will continue to monitor Betelgeuse closely, awaiting the moment when this stellar giant finally meets its explosive end.